Now let's get right to the latest on the numbers of how many people are still without power tonight. Appalachian Power is reporting Amherst County has more than 9,000 customers out. Bedford County still more than 12,000. Campbell County still has more than 5,000 customers without power and Lynchburg is near the top still with around 22,000 customers without power. Roanoke has dropped down, but it still stands at around 17,000. Now on the south side, a different story. Southside Electric Co-op is reporting nearly all of its customers are back online, just about 50 without. Dominion Virginia Power says 388 customers in Campbell County are still without their electricity tonight, nearly 500 in Halifax County and around 140 in Pennsylvania County. Back to Amherst County now. Melinda Zosh went there today and Melinda, you caught up with crews working to get the power back and those who are hoping and praying that they get some soon. Danner, the crews are working nonstop and it's no secret what their biggest obstacle is. It's all those fallen trees. For so many here, this scene is getting really old. Archie Toller saw this tree fall. It fell all around the house, but luckily didn't anything fall on it. Toller says it blocked the road for about 12 hours. They just pushed it over in this angle in this yard yet to get, out, get it out of the road. Gary Rokes has worked nonstop since Saturday. He says the power caused some communication problems. Uh, we have to make sure we keep all of our generators fueled up on fuel so we can maintain communications you know, with all of emergency services within Amherst County and within our region. I'm out here on Cedar Gate Road in Monroe, and as you can see, this tree has completely taken down this power line. It's one of the hardest hit areas in the county, which means that it could take crews several more days to clean up the mess. Something like I've never seen before. The old Amherst County Jail is a cooling center and shelter, and Charlene Bowling and her mom Dorothy Peters are happy to take advantage. Peter celebrated her 95th birthday on Saturday. She said, oh, I've never been to jail. <laughs> so we did get a picture of her behind bars, though. About 15 volunteers are helping out at the jail, and dozens have sought shelter here, even sleeping in the old cells. We'll keep it open as long as there are people coming in that needs assistance and a place to stay. And Gary Roke says transmission lines that feed the area are significantly damaged, and that's one of the main reasons why it's taking so long to get the power back. Live in the Lynchburg newsroom, Melinda Zosh, ABC 13 News.